Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Unreal Return to Napoli. This episode we are taking care of the Spire Valley. The valley near the Sun Spire. And we picked up some 8 balls there, so we are going to pick up the 8 ball soon enough in this episode, or this level rather, but it's not going to be given to us on the silver platter by any means. We will have to work for it. Also, there's a lot of swimming in this level and a lot of walking. And a few more of these guard towers, like we saw in Nev's Crossing. We've got a Scarge Trooper here, he's got a Stinger, and I'm just going to open fire on him. And thankfully we killed him pretty quickly. They give us a lot of health and armor in this episode, but they don't give us any super health. But that's okay. We've got plenty of Nolly healing fruits around here, so it's not too terrible. You'll notice up in the corner there, another uh, Scarge Trooper, and he's got a Stinger as well. I'm not going to be using the Stinger very much in this episode. Um, I find the hit scan weapons are going to be very useful because of the distance between myself and the enemies. Projectile weapons are just not going to be that useful. Even though we get the 8 ball, I don't know if I'm ever really going to use it that much. At least in this episode, I probably won't use it. There are also, uh, excuse me, there are also a lot of UMS boxes around here, supply boxes. So I would find as many as you can. There's a Titan off into the distance, and if I hadn't mentioned it, this level has three separate Titans. They're not Stone Titans, but they're Titans all the same. And if you remember with Titans, they will eat up all of your ammo, so I find it a better option to just ignore the Titans as much as possible. Here we have some, uh, well, something that's kind of like an Easter egg, something interesting. So basically, these guys headed up the Sun Spire to that transport vessel after we cleared the way, but their transport vessel seemed like it crashed, and uh, they didn't make it, unfortunately. So they, uh, maybe they were prisoners um, of the Vortex Rikers or something, you know. Apologize for the stammering there. Now this Titan over here, um, I'm going to try to fight most of these enemies around the Titan without the Titan noticing, but sometimes that won't be possible. And sometimes I'm going to have to run like hell. And I kind of wish there were like speed boots like Super Metroid, there aren't. So I'm basically running as hard as I can in this level, but unless you cheat, that's about as fast as you're going to move. This Scar Trooper has a, an ASMD, by the way. And I've noticed with the Scar Troopers of the ASMD, they usually use the secondary fire at this distance, which is really strange. Because the primary fire would make more sense since it's hit scan, and I can easily dodge the ASM ASMD rounds. And I've noticed every now and then they'll use the combination attack, but it's pretty rare. I don't know if I'll be able to see that in this episode or not. I also apologize if you can't see what I'm aiming at here. I've tried to upload the video in 720p so that you can see everything clearly, but if you don't, just rest assured I was aiming at a Scars Trooper. The Titan is now looking the other way, so I am going to go over here as quickly as I can. Nothing to see here. Now down here, if I'm not mistaken, yes, there's a USM, uh, UMS box. UMS. United Marine Support, or whatever it's called. I'm sure somebody will correct me on that. That's one good thing about YouTube. People are um, awful, often <laughs> awful. Sorry, Freudian slip. Just kidding. Uh, people are often quick to uh, correct me on this, and that's fine. You know, I like feedback from my viewers. As long as the comments aren't awful, and as long as the comments are constructive, hey. It's no, no big deal by me. Anyway, and Titan's screaming at us, yelling at us to come back so we can face him. But I'm going to ignore the Titan. There's no point in dealing with him. Just because we can doesn't mean we should. It's like Sun Tzu said, the general that wins the wars are the ones that know when to fight and know when not to fight. supplies in here that are somewhat useful and there's no attics in these buildings either that Titan's walking back this way so now it's a good time to run like hell hopefully I got this on 
Oh, well, hopefully I got this captured. There's something interesting that's going to happen. And another reason why I'm not going to kill the Titans. I'm not sure I caught it in this episode or not. Okay, great. We got, to, we got him. We took care of him. There's some supplies in the boxes. Some more Nolly healing fruit in case we need it. Actually, I did a lot better in this level in my recording than I did in my testing. And I got really lucky in some spots. See, this Titan is going to spot us. Probably. At one of these points, I noticed the Titan was following me, and I think I was just like, run like hell. I don't know why I used the uh, grenade launcher there. I think I was just trying to do it to point out that the stinger and the grenade, uh, grenade launchers are just pointless there. But we got them, all the same, eventually. More UMS boxes. Definitely take them. I find the combat assault rifle is just pretty much the best weapon against these Scars troopers. Or should I say Scar Troopers? I don't know. The Titan here, he is going to notice us, I believe, eventually. But uh, And that's the exit, by the way, that little blue-looking area. But I'm not going to deal with that just yet. I mean, absolutely, you can avoid all of the Titans. And I'm going to prove it to you. There's no point in wasting all of your ammo. They give you a lot of ammo in this level. And you might as well hoard it, in my opinion. Oh, this is the really cool part. Uh, part. I think this is what I was talking about. Watch the boulders here. That's why the Titans are good. They can take care of those enemies, and that Titan will pretty much stop and turn around and not, uh, and will pretty much forget about us. He won't care anymore. There's another little security tower in here. I guess the Nolly can swim, because since they can get out here. What do I mean by that? Well, there's a Nolly up here, you see. It's definitely worth checking out these little areas because they do have some supplies that are quite useful. The flax shells and the fruit seeds are definitely worth it. Well, maybe not so much the fruit seeds, but the flax shells, yes. Definitely use the flax shells. They anticipate you killing at least one of the Titans, I believe. But of course, if we don't, then that's going to give us a lot more ammo than we would have in the next level, normally. Strategy, you know. It's not a bad idea to have a little bit of strategy sometimes. Plan ahead. Only thing is, I wish the combat assault rifle would have like 800 rounds instead of 400, or it wouldn't eat them up so much. I guess if they increase the damage of each round twice, and, um... They could have kept that number of rounds the same, I suppose. But that's okay. It's still a good weapon. And it makes you want to conserve the ammunition a little bit more. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of walking in this level. But that's okay. Walking's easy. Everybody should learn how to walk a few miles, I suppose, without having too much of a problem. Well, that should be an ability, I suppose. If you're able to do it, that is. Well, that doesn't make any sense. But anyways, I'm just talking about personal fitness. No worries. Just me going on a tangent. Of course, we got a lot of these lizards. They are kind of botted to run away after a couple of hits, which makes this really annoying. And that didn't hit him at all. Probably should have used the secondary fire there. See, these lizards are going to go walk around the um, this building. And sometimes they'll actually run inside the building as if they're looking for help, but they're not. So I don't know. I think there's just... Yeah, something about these lizards in this level that just makes them annoying. And the first time we encountered them, I mean, they just went right after us. It's kind of scary, sure, but we were able to take care of them. You know. 
I notice they don't want to go up the slope here. So you could hide out here if you wanted. And apparently lizards can open doors. Go figure. Now in this building right here is a Scars Trooper with a flak cannon. And um, I want to get the jump on him as much as possible. I do not want to walk in there unprepared. You'll notice another Titan down there. We don't have to fight him. There's some Nolly healing fruit down there if we need it. Which is good to know. And there's plenty of ample opportunity here. No, that's redundant. There's plenty of opportunity here to have 100% health. Even though we didn't get hit a few times. Now here's the Scar Trooper with the flat cannon. Thankfully we've got the rocket launcher and we were able to dispatch him without too much of a problem. But that flat cannon can cause some serious headaches. And this room right here, this, um, excuse me, this building can cause some serious headaches as well. You'll notice over here, here's the 8-ball. Like I said, they weren't going to give this to us on a silver platter. We had to defeat a few lizards and a Scar Trooper with a frickin' flag cannon. But that's okay, we took care of them. There are also two areas in this building that I'd like to reach, and unfortunately you have to... well, three areas, that is. Um, yes, our chief weapons are surprise. Uh, no, our two chief weapons are surprise and fanatical devotion to the Pope. Well, anyways, three areas that we gotta access. You'll see here that there's a couple places down here we can jump down to. Well, the first one we want to reach is this dispersion pistol power-up. The next area that we want to reach... And yes, we have to go all the way around three times to do this. Well, there are two uh, other things that we want to reach. The first one's going to be a 12-pack um, of 8-ball uh, shells. Right here. There we go, 12 8-balls. 12 8-balls. 8 12-balls. Eight, 12 6 5-balls? No. It's kind of weird, though. There's 48 8-balls that you can hold, so that's 4 canisters of 12 but you shoot them off six at a time. So it's nice that there's a greatest common denominator there. Or a common denominator, that is. Now we have the shield belt down here, and we also have some flash shells. The shield belt is definitely what I want. If you get anything, get the shield belt. And you should be well protected in case that Titan hits you. And he could. He really could. Now this section over here is kind of a maze. You'll see right here, I'm kind of checking out just to show you that there's nothing else over here. But it does kind of loop back around. And you'll see it kind of loops over here with a Titan. Well, eventually. You'll see the Titan over there. There we go. Um, I'm not facing that Titan. There's no point. He's off in a corner somewhere. Leave him alone. You know. He's not hurting anybody. Don't bother with them. Absolutely. I mean, thankfully, there we don't have to kill everything in this game. And if I don't have to, I'm not going to. You know? Hope you guys enjoy the wall. You know? Nice leisurely stroll on an alien planet. With hostile aliens trying to kill us. And hostile fauna. You know, nothing out of the ordinary. Up the hill we go, and down again. This is the direction we're supposed to go, eventually. Um, this is towards the exit of the level. Now we've got to deal with another Scar Trooper here. So open fire on him. Ready, aim, fire. And he's down. I don't think I've seen the Scar Trooper use the uh, combination fire with ASMD rounds yet. Well, at least I think I have, but I haven't been able to record it. It's pretty rare. Now you'll notice there's a Titan here. I'm going to hide behind a bush. And try to walk around this guy as quickly as I can. Zigzag a little bit, and I made it. I'm going to turn around to make sure that the boulders aren't going to kill me. That big boulder would have instant killed me. So, I don't want to deal with that. There's also a Scars Trooper over here with an ASMD, I believe. 
And I'm not going to kill him either. I'm just going to let him do his thing. And it's time to exit the level. Because he's just going to waste a lot of ammo and I'd rather not deal with it. Bye bye. And that wraps up this level. Life was hard, then it got harder. I hate Titans. And that wraps up this episode of Let's Play Unreal Return to Napoli. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Goodbye.